Curious to know how many middle schools and high schools Summerlin has? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. And I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm going to go over the middle schools and high schools in Summerlin. Summerlin is home to more than two dozen schools, including 11 nationally acclaimed private schools and 16 public schools. Simply put, Summerlin is the smartest address in town. There are three public middle schools and two high schools in Summerlin, which is part of the Clark County School District. Uh, stay tuned to another video and I will go over all the private schools that are located in Summerlin. My main focus right now is to go over just the middle schools and high schools that are in the wonderful Summerlin community. First, I'm gonna go over the middle schools and the first middle school is Ernest Becker Middle School. Ernest Becker Middle School is an above average uh, public school located obviously in Las Vegas. It has 1,384 students in grades six through eight with a student teacher ratio of 26 to one, ranked number nine in best public schools in the Las Vegas area. Becker Middle School is located in the Hills Village at 9151 Pinewood Hills Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89134. And this school opened in the year 1993 and it is one of the first original middle schools in Summerlin. And actually, I like that middle school. Both my children went to it from sixth through eighth and they really, really, really liked um, Becker Middle School. We had no problems. We lived in the hills at that time and they walked to school sometimes. <laughs> my daughter was lazy sometimes, so I had a driver. <laughs> But uh, for, for three years, they attended Becker Middle School, and I would say that it is a pretty good school. They turned out pretty good kids. And number two is Sig Rogic Middle School. Sorry if I botched that one up. Never can get that one right. Sig Rogic Middle School is another above average middle school here in Las Vegas. It has 1,751 students in grades six through eight, with a student teacher ratio of 27 to one, ranked number five in best public middle schools in the Las Vegas area. And this middle school is located in the Arbor Village at 235 Pavilion Center Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89144, and it's very close, almost next to uh, Palo Verde High School. And this school was opened in the year 2000. And the third middle school in Summerlin is Wilbur and Teresa Face Middle School. Wilbur and Teresa Face Middle School is another public school located in Las Vegas with 1,369 students in grades 6 through 8 with a student teacher ratio of 25 to 1. Wilbur and Teresa Face Middle School placed in the top 50% of schools in Nevada for overall test scores. And this middle school is located in the Mesa Village in Summerlin South at 9525 West Mall Avenue, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89148. So next we're gonna get into uh, high schools in Summerlin. Summerlin only has two high schools. One is a public school. Well, I guess they're considered both public schools and the other one is a magnet school. But our first school that we're gonna go over is Palo Verde High School. And Palo Verde High School is another above average school located here in Las Vegas with over 3,000 students in grades nine through 12 and a student teacher ratio of 27 to one, ranked number 37 in best public high schools in Nevada. And Palo Verde is also located in the Arbor's Village at 333 South Pavilion Center Drive, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89144. And this school opened in 1997. It's actually a pretty famous school. There was a movie done with Kevin Spacey, sorry, and Joel something, the kid with six cents. <laughs> Pay it forward, yes. Pay it forward was filmed at Palo Verde High School when it just opened or maybe right before it opened. So that's an interesting fact to know about this high school. And my daughter is attending Palo Verde High School right now. She is a senior and will be graduating um, with the Millennial Scholarship, so I'm very proud of her. The only thing about Palo that I feel is that um, 
it's a quite large school and I wish again that Summerlin had at least one other high school besides the magnet school that way it could uh, alleviate the load of students I feel that we need another high school near the Paseos village on the west side towards Red Rocks because you have all that development out there. You have Sunwin Center Village, you have Paseo's Village, you have uh, the Vistas Village, and now Stonebridge. And then also you got Reverence to, I guess, north. So all these students from all walks of Summerlin go to this high school. And then also Summerlin North, which is the Hills Village Trails, Arbors, um, that I can think of right now off the top of my head that also go to Palo Verde High School. Yes, it is a good school, but I think the student teacher ratio of 27 to one, I think it could be better and I think we need another high school. But anyway, that's my take on it. So on to the next high school in Summerlin. And the other high school in Summerlin is the West Career and Technical Academy. The West Career and Technical Academy is a magnet high school located again in Las Vegas in 2018 West Career Tech ranked better than 95.8% of high schools in Nevada. It also ranked third among 50 ranked high schools in Clark County School District. West Career Tech is located in the Summerlin Center West Village at 11945 West Charleston Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada 89145. And this high school opened in the year 2010. I think magnet schools can be the way to go if you cannot afford sending your children to private schools. My son actually went to a magnet school. He went to uh, Advanced Technologies Academy. It's not in a great location, however, it is an excellent school as well. So if your kids are in junior high and thinking about where to go for high school besides their zoned areas, I highly suggest that they consider going to a magnet school. The curriculum is a lot more intense. My son did phenomenal in his magnet school. It's more of a nerdy magnet school. However, he had over 4.0 GPA. He got the Millennial Scholarship. So I did not have to worry about paying for his college this year. So I highly suggest if it's possible and your kids can get in for them to apply for a magnet school. And plus magnet schools here in Vegas that really focus on um, an area of expertise. So he kind of like majored in computer science. Not that he's going into computer science right now at UNLV. However, it gives them another area of focus or expertise. And it's not like trade school where you're learning mechanics or wood shop. It's very technical, uh, like the West Career Tech Academy. You can learn about film studies or making movies. But anyway, that's enough about magnet schools. I will definitely need to go over all the magnet schools now. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it educational on the middle schools and high schools here in Summerlin. As you can see, Summerlin schools tend to rank better than most schools in the city. Um, so if you're thinking about buying a home in Summerlin, that should be one of the areas you need to consider is where your kids are gonna go to school. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about the Summerlin community. And actually, not just about Summerlin, about Las Vegas in general. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me today, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.